Welcome back, I am so excited. Today marks the sixth round of the Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe challenge hosted by myself, Brie Lamberson, and my lovely co-host, Jessica Harumi. There's so much to cover in this video, so I'm gonna try to zoom through it really fast. I feel like utilizing the system of a capsule wardrobe is one way to completely change your relationship to your clothing, to your closet, because Lord knows our closets can get out of hand, and also, more importantly, to your personal style. And I always end up walking away with outfits I have literally never created. A 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe challenge basically just means that you're going to be taking 10 articles of clothing, styling them in 10 different outfits, and you're going to wear those 10 outfits over the course of 10 days. The challenge component was introduced by Lee Vosberg, who's a blogger. She's the founder of this challenge, and we always love to give her credit. Basically, the challenge component is, is that you want to post a picture of yourself in the outfit for 10 days on Instagram. And the challenge that Jessica and I are hosting begins on Monday, September 18th, and it goes until the 27th of September. Back by popular demand, we'll be hosting our Parisian style workshop on the very first day of fall. You can go ahead and get registered by clicking the link in the description box below. It's only $29. Anyone is allowed to join the challenge. Everyone is welcome. All you have to do is to have an Instagram account, have a a love of Parisian style and to post an outfit picture or just an outfit that you've styled on Instagram every day for 10 days starting on the 18th and what you want to do is tag Jessica Harumi and Brie Lamberson and then use the hashtag hashtag Parisian style 10 by 10 on your post that way we'll see it everyone else will see it and all of the details are in the description box below every year that Jessica and I host the challenge we also include a free workbook for you to help you plan your capsule work Wardrobe. This includes sample capsule wardrobes and tips and tricks on how to get the most out of this challenge. To grab your free workbook, just click the link in the description box below and you will be receiving that via email and you'll also get a free 10 day newsletter to accompany you throughout the challenge. Jessica is literally one of my favorite people in the whole wide world and if you've not met her yet, I'm so happy to introduce her to you. I absolutely love following her travels throughout the world. She is chic, she's minimal, she's elegant, she's lovely and adorable, and if you love minimal style that has a really strong commitment to sustainability, then you will love to follow her. So be sure to check out all of her socials. She has a companion video to this one always every year, so I will also link that down below. First up, I've got my H&M trench coat. I wore this in spring. I still love this, and I think it is like a very classic piece. I don't think that H&M makes this anymore, but I love the color of it. Next, I have my black bomber jacket. This is a boucle style or tweed style bomber jacket from TV. I got this secondhand at a consignment shop here in Knoxville last year, and I cannot believe that I found this. The detailing on the back is just unique as can be, and I absolutely love this piece. My third outerwear piece for the Parisian style 10 by 10 is the gray pinstripe double breasted blazer from banana republic and just as a heads up i <laughs> i seriously have been meaning to do this for forever please do not judge me i don't want to hear it in the comments section i know there's a button missing it's in the pocket and i promise i'll sew it back on i've just been so so busy but i love this blazer and i've been wearing it a ton you saw in my what to wear to paris video it's been a key staple for me and I'm excited to get more wear out of it. It's super vintage. Okay, next up I have a gray cashmere sweater from Talbot's. It is second hand. I got it from a resale shop here in Knoxville. My second top is another cashmere sweater. You know what? I'm trying something different here. Uh, feel free to switch it up on your own. This is a cashmere sweater from Lily Silk. I will link the exact one in the description box below. I love this piece because it has a mock neck. It's really cozy and then it has uh, this sort of slit on the side and kind of like an apron style back and an apron style front. So it kind of covers your booty and you feel really comfortable in it. You can tuck it in, you can leave it out and either way you look very chic. My third top is a white button up. This is a linen cotton blend button up from H&M. You have seen me in this many times already. It's such a classic 
key wardrobe staple for a French capsule wardrobe that I think every woman should have this in her closet. Just find the right style and find the right fabric and find the right cut for you. As long as it's something that you love, you really don't need very many, just one or two at most. My final top is a blue button up from Old Navy. This is like a crisp 100% cotton poplin button up. I've worn this in many style challenges already and I love it. I wear this thing all the time. Next up, my bottoms. I have a pair of brand new to me Martin trousers from Saison. These are the Saison Martin trousers in gray. I think it's mottled gray. Love these beyond words. I can't even tell you how much I love these pants. It's almost like they were made for me and I haven't had them tailored. It's like Oh my gosh, when you find a pair of pants like that that fit your body so perfectly, like buy them in every color, oh my word. And that is exactly what I plan to do. So I styled a ton of outfits around these pants. Next up, I have my favorite blue jeans from And Other Stories. This is the fourth pair I've bought secondhand from Poshmark. And they're in a different wash, And but I've worn this pair of jeans, I think in like the majority of my Parisian style 10 by 10s. Finally, I have my vintage Banana Republic Skort. I got this at the thrift store many years ago. I've never gotten rid of it. It is very short. I feel a little nervous in it, but <laughs> but I love it. And I've not yet been able to find the proper style of black mini skirt that I'm looking for, but I already have this in my closet. And the whole key of this style challenge is to shop your closet. So I had this in there and I loved it. So I styled it in many different ways and I think you're going to enjoy this so much. Look one is one of my favorites. These Saison Martin trousers in the model gray are wool pant and they are lined. I've paired it with some very, very warm Matisse boots that I got secondhand and the Lily Silk Cashmere Turtleneck Mock Neck. Just this outfit alone could be plenty warm for fall where I live. This would be boiling hot, in fact. This is really more or less a winter look for me, but what I appreciate about this look is it's so simple. You just have a beautiful pair of trousers and a lovely top. It's not complicated. It's just a matter of choosing high quality pieces that when you put them together, they look incredible. Something else I'm practicing in this outfit is a tip that I like to give to my styling clients, which is following different color rules. So one of the color rules that I'm following here is the rule of three. I'm only wearing three colors in my outfit. I have the beige trench coat, the black sweater and black boots, and the gray trousers. Now when you add on accessories, that's gonna change things up a little bit, but I feel like this look is just so chic. I don't know who this girl is, but I feel like a whole new woman. I've paired my Saison Classic Milo bag in black with it, and I think it goes perfectly together. But a lightweight trench coat like this is key for transitional dressing because it can be that extra bit of warmth that you need, but it can, you know, take it off as soon as it starts to get a little bit too warm. For look number two, I'm wearing my Talbot secondhand sweater. It's a medium petite, so you can kind of tell it's like got an interesting fit. I'm pairing it with my secondhand end of the stories jeans and my Zara ballet flats, but I'm gonna switch things up. So if you want it just like a simple, like, you know, folly going out version of jeans and a t-shirt, this would be the look for you. What you can do to dress it up is just simply swap out the ballet flats for boots and Add on a trench coat and you're good to go. I have my secondhand J. Crew Stevie boots. I feel like this is extremely wearable. It's a very minimal look while still being quite detailed. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my Milo bag from Saison. I've kept my accessories throughout the entire challenge very, very pared down. And I think this look is just like, it hits. Like it's so perfect to me. I would 100% wear this to Paris. Okay, my next look, I'm going for the skirt, guys. Please do not judge my legs right now. I feel a little embarrassed by them, to be honest with you, because they're just so bare and out there. And every time I put the skirt on, my husband's like, that's a really short skirt, which it is. Um, but it's technically a skort, so I feel a bit of safety there. This is 100% riffing off of the Doen look that's kind of gone viral, the black mini skirt with the cashmere vina, and I paired it with my J. Crew ballet mules, which I've had for many years, my Ray-Ban sunnies, and my Paris 64 Windsor bag. 
this is in that olive color and I think adding a little pop of color is such a good idea for winter and fall to mix up the look a little bit and to make it more me, more brie because I'm obsessed with blazers. I'm adding my Banana Republic vintage gray pinstripe blazer. I think this look is just harmonious. It's monochromatic tonal. Throwing on my bag with it, I just, yeah, I think that's amazing. If you're not into the skirt situation, I mean, you could easily swap the skirt out for a pair of black trousers and it would be just equally as cute. Or even like a longer leather skirt would be quite nice. So something that came down to mid-calf or just like a denim skirt. So sweet and I think that would be just a very casual go-to look for fall. This has got to be one of my most favorite outfits. The TV jacket just takes my breath away. This is such a cool piece. This is why I love shopping secondhand because you can always find the coolest stuff. You know, it's just like you can't always find what you're looking for and sometimes you don't know exactly what you're looking for until you see it. And I think just pairing it with a classic Oxford button-up. You know, you wouldn't necessarily think to pair those two items together, so my tip to you is to try odd and unique pairings. When you're working in the capsule wardrobe, that's when the odd pairings come together. This is why you do this. It's so that you can get new outfit combinations because all I literally did was I took one pair of bottoms, one top, and one outerwear piece, and then I just cycled through the outerwear pieces. I kept all the other layers the same. Then I took another top and I cycled through all the outerwear pieces and I did that until I had cycled through every outfit combination that there was and I think I might have even missed some. Next outfit. This is a really fun one and you can see that I'm kind of riffing off of the collar peeking out situation so I've got my white button up underneath my cashmere sweater. I have the cuffs rolled up because this is a three quarter length sweater. I have to say, I think this is so chic and classic. If you're somebody who works in an office environment and you need a very feminine yet masculine look, that will make you feel comfortable and confident, this could be the one for you. I love this combination. You could do this with a cardigan, that would be equally adorable. So if you're looking for warmth and layering, this would be the outfit for you. And as you'll see, when you add the trench coat on top, it's like power dressing to a new level. I feel stunning in this outfit. Now, would I actually wear this? Yes, I would. <laughs> I. <laughs> My tip for you is if you struggle with putting on clothing that you feel is too nice and like too done up because of where you live or because of who's around you, you know what? Life is too short to not do the thing, you know? It's just clothing, you guys. Like, put yourself out there. So my next look is utilizing my favorite jeans, secondhand and other stories jeans. Side note, these had never been worn and I've been able to like mold them to my body. This is the most classic outfit that anyone can ever wear, man or woman. It doesn't matter your style, it does not matter your age. This outfit is for every person. Jeans and a white top. Doesn't matter the kind of jeans. It doesn't matter the kind of top. Jeans and a white top. Now to elevate the look a little bit more, pairing it with another classic wardrobe staple which is this trench coat from H&M and I think all of these elements together just create the most classic, chic, and stunning outfit. Anyone can wear this. Next up, we have a beautiful combination. This is way outside my comfort zone, so please, please be kind to me. I'm pairing my Banana Republic Vintage Mini Skort with my Lily Silk Turtleneck and these vintage Michael Kors thigh-high suede flat boots. I know these are a little out there. It's a bit of a departure. I've had these for about 10 years. I got them when I worked at a consignment shop in downtown Knoxville, but now I love them and I think they look really 1960s and very chic, especially when paired with this lovely trench coat, something like this with a nice layer and tights. I think it would be so ideal for fall. I feel so cool in this outfit and I truly have never 
ever worn anything close to this before in my life. Putting it on, I feel like a new woman and I feel crazy chic, crazy cute and put together. It's definitely something to do to get outside your comfort zone and to pair pieces that you've never paired before in new ways. My next look is using the Cezanne Martin trousers. This is again a very office-y look and I'm wearing my Matisse boots with these trousers. As you can see, the trousers are the perfect length for these boots. When you wear a shorter heeled boot, I would consider needing to get these taken up. But as of right now, I'm not gonna go through the process of doing that. I'm pairing it with my Old Navy button-up. This is an oversized men's style button-up and it's in an extra small, so you can see it's quite oversized. Here's the thing, like pieces like this when you get to mix them high low they work so well and the the coolness the blue coolness this is almost like a periwinkle blue works so well with the coolness and the grayness of the trousers I love this outfit combination and I I do think I would wear this a hundred percent of the time I, I would personally wear this on a date if I went to an office I would wear this to the office if I were going to a meeting this would be a great everyday going out look you know you can cobble together a suit in your wardrobe as long as it's tonal there in the same color family or they're complementary in some way you can definitely pair them all together look at how good this looks and it's just about playing with the color scheme in your closet and seeing how things go together I feel like if you are a professional woman this look is for you Next up, I am wearing my Lily Silk Cashmere Mock Neck with my secondhand and of the stories jeans and then my suede J. Crew Stevie boots that I also got from Poshmark and my Cezanne Milo textile bag. I don't think the browns exactly match, so I'm gonna swap into my bucket bag in a second. But again, this is your answer to like jeans and a top. Your outfits don't need to be complex. It really just is a matter of choosing like the right accessories to elevate a look and making it all come together. Sometimes less is way more. The boots just pop. They make this outfit sing, in my opinion. Honestly, anybody could wear this. But I think this is just a super simple everyday look. Swap into ballet flats or tennis shoes and you are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is elevate this look slightly by adding my trench coat and I'm gonna tuck in the front of the sweater so I have a little bit of a different silhouette or different like visual. And I'm going to add my vintage Banana Republic bucket bag that I got at a consignment shop here in Knoxville, which I think looks identical to the boots in color. So I'm pairing like black and beige, blue and chestnut. And that is like another color rule that I have is stick to no more than four colors in an outfit, unless it's an amazing print and it has like loads and loads of colors in it. So this look, I think is fantastic and I would wear this every single day and I'm going to. Next up, I have one of my favorite outfits. Definitely a classic combination for me. Very similar to the Martin trouser look, but now all I've done is just swap out the boots, swap out the bottoms. So I love this so much and I'm definitely going to be styling this in lots of different ways. I actually buttoned up the collar all the way to the top so that it had a little bit more of a chic professional vibe. It's different. Rather than being like super undone and open, I want it to be super done up. I love this outfit so much. Those are all of my looks for the Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe challenge. I hope you enjoyed them. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but please do be kind and respectful. Share with me what you're most excited about for your fall capsule wardrobe. If you're planning on joining, I would love to know. Don't forget to check out Jessica's video, download the workbook, and if you want to join our workshop on the 23rd, we would love to have you there. Everything is in the description box below. If if you love the Parisian style challenge and you want more inspiration then I've got a playlist right here that has all of the past Parisian style challenges and more there and if you're watching this in the future then this is the Parisian style 10 by 20 for fall 2023 and thank you guys so much for all of your support I can't wait to see you on Instagram for the Parisian style 10 by 10 challenge